and we are here with second video of how to edit like magnets medium and in this one we will be trying to create this and as you can see this is the node graph of my composition and my fusion workspace might be a little bit different from you well i have a vertical one if you want to do the same you can come to workspace presets fusion presets you can choose mid flow and you'll have the same and also right click over here and in options check this check whatever i have checked uh build flow vertically instead of build flow horizontally and don't use orthogonal pipes use direct pipes you know why if you know comment down below all right so if i play from the beginning and also right click here and check high quality and let me see it's full hd all right well here as you can see i'll just uh give you a tour of it really quickly and then we'll make it from scratch i have this mask okay this sweet little mask let me enable my inspector also so in this rectangle as you can see we have these kind of things and things animated i think okay yeah so it is animated so it's width and height properties are animated like this all right then we have attached it to a background which is white then we also have the road dilate and blur why because we are using it first of all we are using it to mask out this blank white canvas all right and also masking out let me just remove this for a moment we have this guy over here so this is a guy luma key out then color corrected then transformed a bit i don't know what i've done yeah okay so I increase the size and then in merge with the help of merge i was able to take this background as background and this as foreground then take the blur output and mask it out so we have finally this and just to get this gradient i use erode dilate and also blur and with that we have something like this let's go ahead now what do we have and this was main card okay so this is our main card then we have other cards so for other cards first of all we have we i have used the same uh white background okay and in this wireless link it's the same white background which is background two this one all right so this then in this one like i have this uh pipe router also which is going to all of these nodes i'll talk about that let, let us just understand how i made this then all of it is just a copy of this one so starting from here we have this image again color corrected transform doing the same thing which we did over here okay so like this then here we have some text which is right you can type anything then we have this merge why do we have this merge over here okay so now we are connecting this card with the help of wireless link to this merge and taking it as a background and on top of it we are adding this text okay it's that simple and then again with the help of merge the image which we just edited we are putting it on this card then with the help of transform i animated it so something like this and also positioned it so 0 0.25 0 0.25 is the value of it then again with the help of merge we were able to put this card onto the main card and all of these like this one this one and this one is again a copy of this one one thing is different the transform which is over here okay so the animation property and center x and y values are different so in this one it was 0 0.2525 here it's 0 0.7525 here it's 0.2575 and lastly we have 0 0.75 and 75 so if i show you this merge merge 9 we have these five cards this was the main one and these are the other ones okay and yeah by the way also image is different that's pretty obvious i think different one and different one okay so we have these cards and these are animated well it's all done now how did we make those connection pipe okay so let me just talk about that and i don't know why it's not working but earlier it was so whatever we have this background alpha is set to zero which means that it is transparent background if you are not seeing these check boxes even after doing alpha to zero it's black so go over here in menu and check this checker and delay you will be seeing this then with the help of merge i was able to make and also with the polygon i just made these two points and then with shift s i smoothed them and played with the curves then again in the background and also the polygons properties these properties are these and with the help of merge i was able to place it over here pretty simple pretty basic right then again i did the same thing with the triangle instead of using polygon i used triangle node this time yeah you can use that 
Then again with the background, white background, that's where the triangle is white. Uh, also, we have the transform. And in this transform, as you can see, I don't know why, but whenever now I am orienting it using this path modifier, it doesn't work. I don't know why. So if you have a solution for that, let me know. It always does that. I don't know what's the problem. It's a bug basically. And the version which I have, which is 18.6, I'm facing it regularly. Like time to time, I, now I'm used to this bug. But I haven't found the solution till now, to be honest. So if you get one, please let me know, guys. I really want one. Then what do we have? We have other connections. Okay, so what is that? Well, let me show this to you. So we have this wireless link over here. All of these are wireless link. This one contains the Merge 13, which is these. And this one contains the Merge 11, which is this. What's the difference? Well, let me show you. So we have this over here. All right. And which node does it contains? Merge 11. So we have to be a little bit over here because these properties are animated. So it contains Merge 11 and I think that's what we should have on it. <laughs> All right. Then we have this time speed. Okay. Why do we have this time speed? Well, we have this time speed to add a delay of 30 frames. And we have this time speed again and again. This time we have 60. This time we have 90. It's just three times. Then we have this transform. And why do we have this transform? To manipulate where it's positioned. And I use this flip. Let me show this to you for a moment. All right. So just forget about these triangles. Let me just, yeah, okay. So just forget these triangles just for a moment because it's a bug, I told you already. With the help of these nodes, if I disable them with control P, you see what is happening? Another one, but again, it's overlapped. Then I use this transform to put it over here. And because of the delay, we were able to get these you will get this 30 second delay, of course. <laughs> okay. Then again, we have these two as it is. And these two lines will also go like this. Looking super great. Now again, with the help of merge, I was able to merge it out with the background. Then I added some halation. And now you can see we have these glow nodes and some masking is done here. Well, if I click on to these nodes like glow and go to settings, it's inverted and same is done with the soft glow. Why is that? See, if I didn't do the masking, what would have happened? Oh, I don't know why isn't it working. So in this glow, we need to add something. So take the merge and put it over here, just like that. So now you see all of it is glowy. Okay. Except the cards. If I didn't have like those mask inputs, so everything would be like this blown out, which I don't want. So what I did was I took the, again, take these cards, uh, take the output of this halation because this was the last node and I didn't even wanted to add glow on the halation itself because I can do that in the node itself. So what I did was I take the output and put inside the mask of this glow and soft glow and this glow and soft glow, what you can see in the settings, apply mask inverted is turned on. So we get something like this. If apply mask inverted wasn't turned on, then the mask would be only affected to these nodes or to the area which we have in the mask. Okay. So working super cool. And then we have this image plane 3D, something like this, looking super great. Then with the help of camera, we were able to animate however we wanted. Then with in, in render 3D, I have something like this. And again, I put a black background behind it because in Render 3D, as you can see, we have some check boxes, which I don't want to show to the people. Okay. So we have the merge and then some more effects of film grain, prism blur, stop motion, film damage, again, film damage, some vignetting. And lastly, media out, we have something like this. And I hope by all of this, at least you have an understanding of how we were able to get from scratch to something like this. Now it's time to create and create everything from scratch. Again, I'll not be just making everything literally from scratch. So what I'll do is I'll copy the notes. Okay. And tell you what I did and why I did. Okay. So let's begin. 
First things first, creating our main card. How to do that? Let me grab a background node. And if you don't have the toolbar, go to Fusion and uh, check the show toolbar. You'll have it. And to add a node, shift plus tracer again, you know that. So now we have this background. And let me just, again, it's plain black. So we're going to make this perfect plain card. Okay. So first things first, let's grab a rectangular mask. You can get that from the toolbar itself. Or what you can do is you can click on this background. And in this background, right click anywhere. Go to effect mask and choose a rectangle that's it now in the center x and y what we need to do is we need to change the value to 0.5 and 0.5 well why is that because we need to center it okay and right now it's not centered because of the like of the way which we added the mask okay so how it add mask is basically if i right click over here effect mask and now you can choose any mask from it so what we chose we chose a rectangle let me choose it again and now boom you can see where it added this mask okay so that's basically how you add any mask with this method click on the node right click in the viewer choose effect mask and choose any of the mask okay so it was that simple now let me just delete this one because i don't need the second mask obviously i'll just delete it like this and the sector x uh sorry Again, make it 0.5.5, just like this. And now we also need to change the width in height of it. Let me just reduce it to 0.25. Now width, I'll type is equals to, take the plus and drag it to height. Now I'll add a slash and two, sorry. I'll cut it with control X. After this height, I'll paste it with control V, hit enter and boom, you got yourself this square. Now in this background, I can make it white, obviously. In the rectangle, I'll change the corner radius to 0.125, just like that, looking super great. And now let me see what we did over here. Well, we have the rectangle, we have the background, looking great. I think, okay, so 0.225 was the value which I put over here. So you can do that if you want to. So 0.225, just for the sake of it i don't know yeah whatever <laughs> okay so after this background again we need the image so let me just grab it real quick so what i'll do is i'll just first Control c copy all of it and with Control v i'll paste all of it over here let me just put it like this let me just delete also this one and now what is happening here so see first of all we have this image with the help of luma keyer what i did was i did these changes okay so that i have this cut out Again, I'll not do it from scratch because it will just waste your time also and mine also. Then in color character, I'll just color corrected it. And why do I have this bl uh, blue input also? So basically, I just take this, grab it and put it into blue input. That's because I want to mask this. Why? If I didn't do that, it will affect all of the image. Okay. Even the uh, alpha out part, basically. So in the color characters, you can see. Okay. We have that. You can choose multiply by mask or you can do all the stuff like that. Then with the transform, I just scaled it, nothing else. In this merge, now what I'll do is I'll add it. Let me remove this bigger uh, blur and node. So let me just add it like this. And now it's like this. So how to do that? Like how to mask this guy up? So take the rectangle and put it to the merge because the same rectangle mask, which is masking the white part out, will mask out the guy out just like that. But it's looking a little bit flat. So now what to do? Now we can add a erode and dilate node. I'll hold shift to put it into this and boom we got something like this but again it's a little bit too harsh so i'll add a blur node up just like that and with the help of that and change the filter to gaussian amount something like this you can experiment yourself whichever suits yourself and finally we were able to get something like this we have our main card this is our main card okay now let's create other cards before that let's select all of it shift plus space bar type und hit enter now click anywhere, hold Alt and again click on it, F2 to rename it and let me type here card 01. I think it should work. Yeah, it worked. And right click set color and you can set color to maybe violet, whatever you want. Okay, I made it orange over here. So again, it's it's your choice. It's your call. Now the same way you need to create four more cards, one over here, one over here, one over here and one at the bottom over here. How to do that? There are again bunch of methods. There's this method which I, which I did over here. Let me try a different one. So let me just do wireless link, shift plus phase of wireless link. And boom, you got yourself this. Now in this wireless link, 
I'll take this background and put it over here so that we just have this. If I view this wireless link, now you can see we have this simple plain mask cut out. You can say simple card, okay, which is really great. Now you can hit control this again and again to save as you know, looking super, super great. Right click, set color. You can choose any color which you want. It's, it's just for the organizational purposes, by the way. It's not necessary that you have to change the color, then only the node will work. No, it's not like that. You just need to, if you want to, to be organized, like for me, I want my transform nodes to be orange, just like this. I did over here. And also my mask nodes to be, let me just change set color, teal. I don't know why. I just like it this way. And I remember it this way. And in the navigator also, you can see, okay, so I have blue nodes over here. Oh, that means that I have the mask over here. So I remember it like this. Okay, whatever. So in this wireless link, I have this background seven now. And we can do what? We can add a transform to it. Let me see. So, okay, nothing really cool right now. But if I change its position to something like 0 0.25, 0 0.25, so it will be down here. Maybe 0 0.75. Yeah. Okay. So it will be up here. And now before that, let me take the merge output of it and connect it to the wireless link output, which will add another merge. Let me just put it over here just for the easing purposes. All right. And I'll just take the transform of it and put it over here. Now let's see the merge and let's see what do we have here finally. So, okay. So we have this transform over here and boom, you got yourself this one card. But how do we do, do that again and again? So for that, I'll take this merge out, add a, sorry, I'll just put it over here and hold alt and put a pipe router over here. Okay. Just again for the organizational purposes. Now I'll copy this transform with control C, add with control V, control V, one more time control V. Now take the pipe router and like output of this pipe router and attach it to the input of this transform just like this. And now in this transform, let me change it to 0.75. This one to, I want to swap it basically 0.75 and this one to 0.25 and the last one 0.25 and 0.25 now nothing will happen well okay just wait for a moment and let me just select all of it also this one and let me just remove this for just for a moment bring it a little back now take the output of this transform put it over here we have this merge just like that just how i wanted it to be take the output of this merge attach it to this one this merge attach it to this one and now take the output of this merge and attach it or maybe not attach it to anywhere uh wireless link again take the output of this merge put it over here take this wireless link bring it here take it put it here well 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 you have these nodes and again to add image to what you need to do is let me just grab the images from here so control c let me just put it here control v okay so which image is that okay it's a youtube one so for that what you can do is let me bring this a little bit back now take the output of this transform and okay wait so there are a bunch of ways to do that okay i'm actually thinking about what would be the best way to do it for you guys well whatever let's take a merge from here and put it over here let's take this put it over here let's see what do we have looking great okay so that's how you do this stuff now i can just make it like this just for the easy purposes again uh yeah exactly like this now again you can attach as many images as you want just like this so what did i do over here again i have this youtube image youtube icon which i have over here okay and the solution is this then i added a color character and this color character i think i just yeah i just changed its saturation with the help of transform i just made it small why is that if i didn't use this transform it would look something like this so it is covering our card which i don't want so that's why i reduced its size and again you can add as many images as you want okay i'll not do that but again this is the process of how you can add images looking great let me just bring it down again okay superb now so that's how to add images okay uh okay let's let's do one more let me take the like this one Control c now again let me just bring it over here yeah bring this somewhere around here bring this here and with Control v let me just paste it here uh, also with merge, let's add a merge over here like this. Now take the output of this transform, put it over here and let's see what do we have in this merge. Well, we have something really great. <laughs> okay. Let me take this discord one also with control C and paste it here with control V. Bring it here. 
now copy this or maybe add take another merge put it here just like this looking great now take the transform output put it over here just like that and i think it is looking super okay it's not just great it's super you can add another image also if you want but i don't let me just play this one yeah okay guys let's add the last one also why do I, you know why to do all this stuff so it's again youtube one because i didn't know what to seriously i don't know what to uh add another image of we have the winch resolve we have this like that and yeah that's how you do it so let me just grab it like you can grab all of it and again bring it down now we have the images all of the white part let's move forward okay after this what to do we can create that line part so add another background okay and by the way one more thing i just forgot to tell you these are not animated now so how to animate it well for that just come to this transform i think first of all let me just animate this one yeah so come to zero okay let's not do that let's first create our whole composition and after that we'll animate it so let me make this background white under this background type poly for polygon hit enter now in this polygon let me add one point here uh another point here just like that now take this bring it here uh hold shift i now it should be to cursor and i think this would look really nice also now increase the border width just that oops yeah sorry i was not viewing it that's why i was like why isn't it working but yeah whatever so 0. 0.0015 just like that looking great uh that's pretty much it i think after this merge what else what else what else okay so after this background let me just not directly add it let me add another merge and put the output of it over here now after this background add xf transform okay just like this take the output of this background uh put it into the merge directly and take that as a transform put into the merge like this why did i do that and we have to do this again three times as we did over here so let me just copy all of it paste it paste it two times here now i'll hold shift attach this merge here select these hold shift attach this merge here all right looking great let me just take all of it bring it here so something like this now why did i do that right now it will not work but and yeah by the way we need to take the output of this background and put it into all these merges yeah don't forget that i hope it should work now in this transform do this do this and this and in this one just do this see earlier and now in this polygon if i reduce the length well 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 <laughs> that's why okay looking great and let me just make bring this polygon over here like sorry background over here and before this transform we need to also add a time speed node yeah just like that. i'll just keep it as it is right now okay and after this merge let's add another merge for the background let me take the text output from it put it over here in this text let me type fusion sorry guys actually it's a little bit difficult for me to view the keyboard that's why my typing is a little bit slower but whatever and change the value to 200 that is it uh actually after this we need to do a lot of stuff so first of all let me just view it like this okay so we need to make it bigger something like let me see how much big did we make it over here so 0.125 that is great we can do the same over here 0.125 and after this let's add another background uh do control t or it's totally up to you whatever you want to do if you want to do control t or not it's totally up to you and again take, come to this background and take this pick eye color and make it this one now into this background add another rectangular mask make it some first of all remove reduce uh remove the solid and let's see and increase the corner radius to full something like this increase the border radius now reduce the height of it to something like 0.3 reduce the border width 0.012 oops to 5 let's see yeah and one more thing the font and everything change the font to extra bold now take the rectangle make it something like this and let's make it thick enough so 0.02 just like that now in this rectangle let me see how much did we have okay 0.015 so all right that is also cool 0.015 just like that and after this merge let's add an image plane 3d put it here now as you can see it's working one more thing don't forget guys before this image plane 3d after this merge or maybe it's fine yeah it's fine it's totally fine now you see alpha image is looking 
really cool and mesh planes you can do a much with the mesh planes but again it's a little bit heavy well whatever after this add a camera 3d okay so now you can animate the camera too and after this add a renderer 3d and this renderer i'll change it to uh my word hardware renderer where is open gl renderer yeah choose hardware renderer and enable z normal that is it if you want to use those i don't so i'll not use it obviously now in my camera 3d what i'll do is i'll change the position of the z value so i'll make it something like this i think this looks fine so point 1.5 point i think 1.5 is the way to go after this sorry after this renderer i'll add the last background and do a control t on this background and guys well we have at least our composition done how much time are we into it I minutes mean, that is a lot <laughs> i think this tutorial will again take time guys what can i do i try my best to make the tutorial small as small as possible but again i am i'm trying my best to do that but i i'm not able to i'm sorry for that i don't know why but this will takes time i'm always like okay at this one we'll just finish it in 15 minutes 20 minutes but i don't think that i'm not that great or maybe whatever yeah let's not just talk about that whatever so yeah that's from shit and also the glow so after this like before this big let's do all of it so after this render add a relation just like that uh, i don't want to add relation over here so before text i will do this stuff so let me add a relation over here so that i only have relation on to these things uh yeah i think this one maybe we can little bit reduce the spread or maybe yeah so 0.25 yeah just like that looking great and now let's add the glow and soft glow node group we can just copy all of that ofx stuff later okay i'll not do that now let's now focus on animation so from the beginning let's go to this rectangle reduce its height to zero bring it a little bit forward to maybe 60 and make it 0.225 go to spline like this and because my show only selected two is turned on it's just showing me this rectangle control it to select all shift s hold t and now you can increase the ease in maybe i'll do it to 60 and i think that's looking super great and now i can change it so for example let me just show this to you forget about these things right for right now shit man that's that's so man looking super great to be honest yep just like that that's how i want it and now uh i think on maybe since it's coming like this so on 80th uh let's come to this one now this transform should be zero first of all and few frames ahead so because it's a 60 frame clip i'll change it to 180 now and let's make it one again so this transform is for this only so again control a shift s t e, and ease in and ease out sorry not ease out i don't want ease out so ease in maybe 60 looks fine now here comes the part select both of these right click and copy points or copy value whatever you want to do now come to into this one this transform and if you will paste it so it will not work so what you need to do is instead uh come 10 frames prior 170 and add a keyframe on the size and now hit ctrl v see and hit f that's how you do it and now you can even do some ease out buff but stuff but i don't like that now select both of these uh and yeah also in this yeah, yeah it's fine it's fine so into transform 2 you can do the same thing click on this transform 2 go to where you like it ended on 260 so sorry 270 so i'll come 10 frames ahead so maybe 260 come to this one add a keyframe on size Control v f that is it come here so 10 frames prior again so instead of 360 come to 350 come to this transform and again click a key from one size Control v f and that is pretty much it so now animation will look something like this let me just uncheck high quality check pro auto proxy and now like the main card is coming then this one then this one then this one and lastly this one cycle is going like this so clockwise looking really great now how to animate these lines pretty simple okay let's come over here and now uh go to polygon go to where our card is coming so maybe on 130 it should start so let's reduce the length to zero okay add a keyframe and also let me just remove water proxy yeah and now let's come to 
the part where second one is starting so it's 130 so at least it should be till 190 it should take one second at least so make it one again in splanator control a shift is and if you want to ease these out that's up to you now take this time speed and attach it to all of these control c okay so first of all let me do 30 over here yeah so control c control v put it on this one control v put it on this one now you guys might one might wonder <laughs> that why am i doing it let me just bring it here then this one here this one here and in this one in this time speed make it 60 in this time speed make it 90 now see the magic of time speed this one and this one then this one and lastly this one oh okay so instead of 30 i think we should do 60 well yeah that looks fine so 60 in this one and here instead of 60 make it 120 and in this one make it 180 just like this now from starting it is man it's looking so great i'm in love with it yay <laughs> okay just kidding but yeah whatever uh and also maybe we can bring it a little bit ahead like it should start over here maybe on 150 i think that is better so first this one this card comes this line comes this card comes this card comes this card comes and this line comes all right looking super super great now again if you want to attach the triangle to it you can do it the same way grab a background make it white okay and because it's bugging anyway so i'm not showing it but you can check my this video if you want to orient some things along a path all right uh if your <laughs> composition doesn't work so that's great to use but otherwise it's not good for me now let's come to this uh camera and let's animate this so on zero frame it should be first of all let me add let me check use target and let me add something like maybe this and let's zoom in a little bit so maybe from here to the last one it should be one uh, oh sorry 1.5 and let's change its y value and also the x value and maybe y value a little bit more and maybe change it to 1.25 was looking great sorry 1.25 yep just like that control f uh i think this is fine for me uh you can again experiment and choose whatever value works for you works for you that is great so again control a to select all shift s and now for the ofx stuff i'll just copy it so again uh where is the glow here it is i'll just copy all of it control c put it here after halation control v take the halation part put it here low part put it here and add a merge after this merge so something like this should work exactly like this and let me just take all of it bring it here and now for the ofx part i'll just simply copy this underlay select all control c to copy and put it after this merge so after this merge let me just place, place it here and take the merge output put it here and after this vignette you can add whatever you want and let me show you the settings each of it so the film grain is something like this vision blur is something like this stop motion is set to five film damage is something like this this one is the copy of it just the color are different and maybe size or maybe seed yeah seed is different and lastly we have the vignette and here is the result So guys, thank you for joining in and seeing this part two of Magnus Media. And if you want to watch the part one, then you can click on this video, which is in the I button, I think. Yeah. And if you haven't watched the series of how to animate like Iman Gazi, then you should go and click onto this playlist. Please watch all of this. And my request to all of you join Discord because I just want to grow the community there. Fusion community, it will be the best community. I keep saying that and because i want to manifest it okay it's that simple it will be the best community ever maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but someday it will definitely be okay so that's when we should do this one in the next one we'll try and create this animation
and i hope you got some value from it if you didn't if you didn't like any part please comment on below because we work on our mistakes and i just want to make the best content ever out there for the venture resolve okay maybe not in terms of really really good to do real kind of stuff but maybe just want to create some motion graphic stuff out there because it isn't there to be honest yeah a good one at least and yeah that's the note graph if you want the file not this one obviously but the professional like i'll not say professional but this sort of file you can click on the link provided in the description below you can get that also join the discord it will be in the link provided below and this is me signing off be creative thank you so much for watching peace out